Hello, welcome to Made With Love by Sarah. So I'm Sarah and today we are doing the finishing touches for a craft fair that I'm having soon. And I've got the cut, stack and shuffle card technique to show you on these Christmas cards. So let's get started. We've got three card bases that measure four inches by 11 and a half inches. So you get two out of one A4 sheet of card. You just have to chop it down a little bit. They're scored at five and three quarters down the middle. So they're, they're ready. I've got a, a layer that measures three and three quarters by five and a half. And I've got three of them. And I've got three pieces of patterned paper. You can pick any paper. Just pick three pieces that you think will go together. Because we're going to cut these up and stick them, stick them down. These measure three and a half by five and a quarter. So on all three of these, I've gone down a quarter of an inch and another quarter of an inch. So, let's check that out. So you need to make sure you've got all three pieces of paper together. And we're just going to do a random cut. It's random, wherever you fancy. Right now, today, I fancy that corner and keep them together. And I'm going to make sure that they're all together again and I'm going to cut across there. Keep them together and keep them together. And then you've got to work out how you cut them. So I'm just going to pop them back back together and that's how they're going to go on the card. So that top one I'm going to leave where it is. This next one I'm just going to get the top one, put that underneath. Pop that there. And this next one I'm going to pop one, two underneath. So we've got three, three different patterns but they're all cut in the same place. So I'm going to get these, these bases. Sorry about the glare there. I'll uh, get them covered up quick. Oh, let's pop them out. So I'm using Kalal all-purpose glue. So I can wriggle it about. And when it sets, it sets hard. So I'm going to get the top piece off this pile. Stick it down. And I'm using this side and this side as a border to make sure I get a quarter of an inch border. No, eighth of an inch border. I'll take the top one off the next pile. And put that up against the next one. On the top one of this pile and fill in the hole. Yeah, I've got a bit of wriggle room so I'm just going to pop them where I want them. To make sure that I've got the border the same all the way around. So just give them a little wriggle till you get them there. Yep. And then I'll just carry on sticking the other pieces down. So 
now we've got all those pieces stuck down we need something to put in the middle so let's just put those to one side for a moment so you need to find your stamping block oh there it is I'm just going to I'm going to lay out these pieces because we need to stamp them all I'm not going to stamp them so these these pieces we're going to make a hot chocolate so you're using black mm, memento tuxedo black ink and i'm just going to stamp oh these have fallen off We need the cut. So if you've stamped, it's not sticky. Just rub it on your trousers. Give it a good coverage of ink. Then just stamp onto your piece of paper. Don't matter if it's not perfect, because we're going to colour it in. So let's get rid of that ink. That'll do. And I've got the Tribe Blend from Spectrum Noir. And a Ice Grey Classique. So it doesn't matter if you mix and match your, your colours. So let's just give that a little second to dry. I've cut out two ovals. These measure two and a quarter inches by three and a half, and then I just cut out the next layer up from my nesting dies. So this is four inches by three and three quarters, but it really doesn't matter what what you do. So I'm just going to stick those together like that. Put the hot chocolate on, and there we have a card. So this is the Fair Skin Blend and the Tan Blend. So I'm going to go in with my Tan Blend first. Just give this... I'm going to do a little bit of blending, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I'm starting from the outside and dragging the colour in. Because these are alcohol markers, just need to give that a little second just to dry and then I'm going to go around the edges with the mid colour so I'm just drawing around not very good at staying in the edges this morning and I'll pull that colour out a little bit using little flicking motions and I'll go back in with the light colour and drag that colour out going further towards the middle using flicking motions and pulling that a bit more forward into the center I'm just going to go around the edges with the dark color this is the the darkest color I'm just drawing around the edge and 
I'm taking inspiration from where the artist who made the stamp has already put the lines. They've done all the hard work. All we need to do is just follow those shading lines. So I'll go back in with my middle colour, dragging out the darkest colour. And then again with the light and I'm going to leave a bit of white in the middle section for the shading. So all the way I'm just dragging the colour across, blending it nicely. Now I'm not a very good colourist but it's good enough to get by. And there's our chocolate mug. So with the fair skin blend, I'm just going to cut it, colour the cookie. Again, I'm not worrying too much. Going around the, colouring the whole cookie. With the middle colour, I'm just going to go around the little chocolate pieces. With the darkest colour, I'm going to use the dark one on this one for the chocolate pieces. That's it, and that's all I'm going to do to the cookie. And the cream on top, just basically going to go around the edges. And colour where the black lines are. Done. Job done. So let's put this to one side. And I'm going to use these dies to cut them out using low tack tape. Oops, stick that on the end. Fingers are not really working today. Let's just chop that in half. Stick, cut that, stick that down. This cream I just want in white, so we're just going to cut out a white, white piece. And the chocolate mug. Let's stick that down. I'm just going to use my Gemini Mini. Pop those through. Pop those through the machine. So I'm just gently peeling off the tip towards me so as I don't rip the the things that we've just made. I'm going to pop that in the bin. I don't want to keep that. Pop the dice to one side so we don't lose them and then we just need to make a chocolate cup. So I'm just going to get my grey pen and just colour around these outlines. Sorry about that, that was my phone going off. I'm going to get my precision glue bottle. Just stick along the very bottom. If my glue will come out. So if your glue doesn't come out, just get a pin, pop your pin in the end, 
and unblock whatever's blocking it. There we go, it's coming out now. Do not put glue on your hand unless you know you're not allergic to it. So I've just put a line of glue along the bottom and I'm just going to pop that on the top of the chocolate cup. line of glue along the cream that's dripping down and cover that join up and I'm just going to pop a bit of glue in this bottom corner just to stick the cookie on the side there we have our chocolate cup Put my pin back where I, so I don't lose it for next time I need it. Let's get rid of this mat. And we can just stick these, stick these together. Centering it as best I can. Give that a minute to dry. Now I've already stamped and fussy cut out this Merry Christmas and popped foam pads on the back. So you can pop as many layers up as you want. I just chose to pop up the Merry Christmas. I'll take these back in pieces off. Now that's ready to go. Oh, that's moved. So I'm just going to stick this flat to the card. In the middle. And then I can see where I want my Merry Christmas. And this one I'm just going to pop it on the bottom so it's coming off to the left hand side. Stick the whole lot to the card base. And there we have our Merry Christmas card. So I'll just get these others finished. I've already done the centre pieces. And there we have our three, three finished cards. I do have some others to show you. Uh, that I made earlier. So these are done exactly the same, apart from I've chopped the line down. Where did I chop the line? So I cut it at one and a half inches and then two inches from the bottom. Same method, and then I just pop them all together. And there's just more of these that I made practicing. So there's two two ideas for you. These say let it snow, so they're a little bit different. And I pop them on glitter paper, not mirror paper. So give it a go. It's really quick, really easy, and very nice Christmas cards. So let me know which you like best. I don't know which I like best. I think I like this one in particular. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen today. And if you ring the notification bell, then you'll get notified every time I release a video. And I really do appreciate it when you watch my videos. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.